We're going to run through a series of videos that goes through the process of manually migrating a virtual machine into the Azure environment. This would be kind of your lift and shift concept. Now, I'll tell you, there's much better ways to do it than manual, but if you can do it manually, then you do it anyway. All right. And what I want to do first is I want to show you on the highly complex uh, virtual machine that I will in fact be moving. Uh, I've got a virtual machine. It's running in 2016 uh, in Hyper-V under 26, Windows Server 2016. Uh, and it is highly um, customized. Okay? Uh, you can see here, I've got actually two windows open. One is my uh, window into uh, the Hyper-V window. Uh, and then the other is actually just a browser window here. And there's a couple things in the background, but they don't really matter. And you can say, okay, it's it's got Internet Explorer. And that that's one of the things I've done for this virtual machine is I've installed Internet Explorer. You can kind of go, okay, well, big deal, right? Internet Explorer, that's not really that hard to do. However, uh, if you look a little bit beyond that, it turns out it has a highly complex customized page here that there's no way that I would want to try to uh, reproduce in Azure. Certainly, I wouldn't want to try to, say, deploy this incredibly complex uh, virtual machine with this incredibly complex page as, say, a web app and make my life easy. Okay. Now, clearly, this is just goof, but it does represent some customization. I, ideally, you'll have some more meaningful customization. Okay, but I wanted to show you what we're moving, and, and that's really all this is here. It's what we're going to move.